Hey, another commentary, but this time it's on Counter-Strike. Remember in Expired Milk when I said you weren't getting any Counter-Strike in that series? Well, here's your Counter-Strike. I'm just kidding. I do plan on releasing more fontages on the game. It's all a matter of time, ladies and gentlemen. Time is relative, okay? Time is relative. I don't even fully understand the meaning of that saying, but I'm going to use it because it makes me sound smart. Welcome back to another commentary where I chat a bunch of... Uh, where I chat a bunch of... Bunch of uh, uh, Jesus. Where I chat a bunch of... Fucking hell, holy shit. Hold, I need a five minute break. I chat a bunch of shit into a microphone and then it turns into a video. That could work, that's fine. Jump shot. Oh, wait, this is happening. It happens every video, it's gotta happen. Come on, come on. One of these, okay, that, that works too. I had to wait a little bit to record this commentary. Usually I record them a bit in advance. I mean, technically everything's recorded in advance before it's post, but this one was a little bit crunch time for me. I had to wait a little bit after I posted expired milk to see just a general response because I, I really didn't want to make another commentary about, you know, like, hey, tell me what you think about expired milk because that's literally what the whole expired milk intro was about. And I have to say, you know, the response has been pretty good. And uh, as I said in the video, it was a learning experience for me to sort of put the video together. Obviously with new editing styles and trying to deal with putting a bunch of games into one video, it can get quite weird. So I decided to do a method where I took out all music and unless it's like an epic moment, of course, something like that. But any background music of the, of the sorts, I decided to remove and let it be just sort of raw gameplay. And then to separate the different games and sessions, I decided to use that little static cut that I use. I'll just do it right here. So that little thing there, obviously on the expired milk, it had the, you know, expired milk, like me looking up at my expiration date and being upset and worried about it. I'm getting fucking hammered in this match, holy shit. But yeah, overall the response was pretty good. I'm happy you guys enjoyed the way it turned out. Like I said, learning experience, what's happening over here? What the fuck was that? But hey, it's out now. I guess look forward to another episode in, the, in a couple months, because obviously it's gonna take a while for me to build up more footage. Granted, I don't use some of the sessions that are, you know, I record with some of the guys. So it may be a little longer to two months. It probably, I don't know. When it comes out, it comes out, you know? The series isn't meant to be on a schedule. That's the last thing I want for it. It'll just be kind of a, when it's here, it's here. I gotta hit the jump shot. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There's a hit. Come on. Come on. Don't push up on me. You're gonna die. You have a higher chance of dying there. Don't do it. God damn it. I'll redeem myself with the op right here. Come on, Jimbo. What's poppin', Jimbo? Fuck. One of these is hitting. I guarantee it. Switch. Wait. Switch. Wait. Switch. Damn it. There it is, baby. I told you I'd redeem myself. So overall, I'm glad you guys like the editing style. Look forward to more of those. I, I assume you guys enjoyed it. You know, it seems to be a pretty good response so far. Well, I guess another news. Uh, there's a new G Fuel flavor out. I I, ha I guess I got to talk about that. <laughs> Fuck. God damn it. I'm such a sellout. Is it really selling out if I enjoy the product I'm promoting? I, I don't think so. So this flavor came as a bit of a shock to me. Believe it or not, a lot of the people who are even sponsored by G Fuel don't know a whole bunch when it comes to new flavors coming out in that whole era. Why did I say era? Era makes no sense. That whole section, I should say. Regardless, the new flavor, if you haven't seen it, is Strawberry Shortcake, which at first, you know, sounds a little weird, but let me tell you, it's, uh, it's pretty interesting. I definitely wouldn't say it's my favorite. I don't mind drinking it. That's a, that's a thing I, I, you know, I mean, all the flavors for G Fuel are good. And I know that sounds biased, but that's an honest, like, PhD certified opinion, okay? So anyway, the flavor, when I first tried it, it was a bit of an experience. It's a bit, it's, a, it's, it's definitely something you need to acquire over your entire life. I mean, from the beginning, you might not even like strawberry shortcake, and I definitely wouldn't recommend it as a first flavor to buy, in my opinion. And I mean, Oddly, get this, this flavor mixes, it, you can mix it with milk. It's actually good. Now, I know uh, Phase Apex is actually behind the flavor itself, but I think I'm going to do a hostile takeover since you can mix it with milk. Sorry, Apex, it's my flavor now, bud, sorry. I don't even think Apex would really mind if I promoted the flavor as my own because then he would just get the revenue from it in reality because he does earn a percentage on, you know, his flavor. So actually, I'm doing you a favor by doing a hostile takeover here, okay? This is a, this is a positive hostage situation, okay, Apex? You make a flavor that mixes with milk, you're gonna have trouble, simple as that. Maybe one day I'll get my own flavor and then, you know, you can 
you can, you know, do a hostile takeover of that if you like what I come out with. I I have no idea what I'm going to come out with. If I even do get a flavor at one point, I don't even, I can't even think of that. There's just too many options. So imagine the taste of like a strawberry milkshake. That's kind of what it's like. I mean, granted, it's supposed to be strawberry shortcake, which is, you know, cake and strawberries. Couldn't figure that one out on yourself. But yeah, for those that are curious, the, the move is coming along. Uh, swimmingly, might I add, not really, but I mean, like, I just, I don't know what to pack, you know, like, I've gotten to a point where I packed majority of the stuff, and then it's kind of like, essentials that I need, I don't know what to pack next. I'm obviously leaving my office to the last second, uh, you know, literally last second, I'm just gonna shove everything into the back of a car and then drive to the new place. <laughs> literally, last second, okay, I don't, I don't take I procrastinate these things, okay? And and obviously I do need it to, you know, do my job, quote unquote. But definitely it will be the last thing I pack. I think the next thing I'll try and pack is like some of my clothing and stuff like that. But for the most part, everything else is pretty much ready. It just needs to be put in bigger boxes so it condenses the amount the movers need to move and whatnot. Boom, baby, you're dead. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to get into a new place. I can't wait till I just settle down and, you know, not have to worry about a single fucking thing, but you know, bills being paid. That's pretty much it. Anyway, I think that uh, justifies a, a solid video there. Just a short little kind of update video, I guess, right at the end there, a little segment where I just talk about, you know, what's going on. But regardless, you know, buy the new flavor and all that. Use code S7. Don't use Apex's code. Don't do it. Yeah, anyway, thank you so much for watching the video. Hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to leave a like on the video. I'd appreciate that very much. Thank you so much for watching again, and I will see you guys in the next video. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I killed him. I, I, okay. <laughs>